It's harvest season in the soybean field in southern Brazil. The city of Prudentopolis is more than 10,000 kilometers from Ukraine. But the war seems closer than ever. Russia and Ukraine account for nearly 30 percent of global fertilizer exports. But the war and sanctions are hurting supply chains across the world. The question is, from where will Brazil buy more fertilizers? We have to find other markets, but it's not that simple. Brazil is the world's fourth largest consumer of fertilizers. Analysts warn higher prices means less production of essential crops. Farmers are also struggling in Kenya. Up until recently, fertilizing this entire farm in Nairobi cost about $175. Now it's five times as much. With the price hike, it's going to cost about $875 to cover the farm. I can't continue with this business. I'm quitting because the losses are too high. Developing countries have been hit particularly hard by the shortage. The number of people facing food insecurity has increased over the last year, especially after the pandemic. You know, th this comes at a bad time and just ends up exacerbating our, our food challenges globally. In this street market in Athens, the effects of the war are already hurting both suppliers and consumers. I would pay about 20 to 24 dollars for a unit of fertilizer, but now the price is about 41 dollars, and I'm talking about fertilizers that are essential for us. Food prices were soaring before the war. The UN says its World Food Price Index reached the highest level last month since it started keeping records in 1990. The fighting in Ukraine is intensifying the problem, putting at risk future harvests. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.